create commercial application, we are going to do chapter joint stock company. Now we have already finished sole proprietorship form of business and partnership form of business. Now here in sole proprietorship uh, joint stock company uh, stock company you see definition a joint stock company is a voluntary association of persons with a separate legal entity for mutual succession and common sale. Okay. Now this is the definition you have to learn it by heart and after that there are features of a joint stock company or characteristics of a joint stock company. Now they are separate legal formalities, entities, separate legal entities, perpetual succession, limited priority, uh, transferability of shares, common sale, separate separation of ownership and control. Voluntary association, artificial legal person, corporate finance, statutory regulation and contract, and registered body. These are the features of a joint stock company. Now, from the definition of the law, what is joint stock company? It's a voluntary association of a person with a separate legal entity means the business and the owner are different okay and perpetual succession perpetual succession means person may come and go but business will continue and common seal is authorized signature of a company okay now we will do details of business the features of a joint company separate legal existence a company is a distinct legal entity independent of its member. Now, member and company are not same. They are different. Now, that's why it's called separate legal entity. Okay? Member and the company are different person. Okay? Now, next one is perpetual successor. Now, a company is created by law. Uh, we know that other type of businesses, in the itself, start a business, but company is always created by a law and only the law can be uh, end to the business so person may come and go like I said in class also we are here after sometimes we will go but the school will continue same way person will come and go but the company will run forever okay? now limited clarity limited clarity I have already told you what is the liability means that Okay, here in company form of business, you will find the liability is limited, limited to the fair value of the share they are holding or the amount they have already promised to pay. Okay, so even their personal property is not attached to the business. Clear? Now next one is transferability of shares. Here company, there is no fixed rule that the um, when the business will come to an end, then only you will get back your share, capitals or the shares etc. They are free to sell and buy their shares at any time without the consent of anyone. Now common sale, as I have already said, um, all the acts of the company are authorized by its common sale. So common sale is a official signature of a company. Like when we sign, we write something and we sign, isn't it? Same way, since we are human beings, we are signing by our hand. But here in company, it's an mm -hmm. artificial person. So common sense serve as the signature of a company. Now next one, separation of ownership and control. Now they elect some of the representatives so called directors. Now shareholders, because company will divide their sales uh, capital shares in small amount and many people will buy those shares and as soon as they buy the shares they will become the owner of the company and everyone they are far and wide of the country and they, they cannot buy uh, take active part in the business management so what they do they elect some of the member as their representative and they are known as the director board of directors and they are responsible for the smooth functioning of the business. 
Now, voluntary association, as the definition of this is the joint company is a voluntary association of persons. So, anyone who is willing, they can come and join the business. The mem member of a company can join and leave the company at any time. Okay? Now, next one is artificial legal person. A company is an artificial person created by law having no physical of natural human being. Okay? No physical body of a natural human being. So it's an artificial person created by the law. Now corporate finance, the share of the company, as I already said, the share of the company is divided into small unit. So this unit they can, they can collect huge amount of capital from the public. Now statutory regulation and control, government exercises control through company law over the management of a joint stock company and register body. A company comes into existence only after its registration. Regarding registration, they have to fill up the file and they have to they get the certificate of incorporation. After that, again they have to fill up the form and then they have to submit to the register of the company and they will get the certificate of commencement of business. After that only they can start their business. This is the feature, what I said just now, the features of a joint stock company. Now next topic is the difference between partnership and a joint stock company. Now we have already done partnership. Okay? Uh, like sole proprietorship business means one person only involved in the business and then two or more persons are involved in the business that is known as partnership. Now what is the difference between partnership and joint stock company? It is given in your page number 47. Okay? Now mode of creation, uh, partners, uh, this company is created by law whereas the partnership is the uh, created by written or oral agreement. Now you will find that a company is a distinct legal entity separate from its member. The company has a distinct legal entity. We have already done in the future so as you know it has a separate legal entity. Whereas this one there is no separate legal entity from its partner in partnership. Now in company if it's a public company, minimum number of members is seven, and if it's a uh, and maximum is there is no limit, no limit. There is no limit of membership. Okay, and in case of private, minimum number is two, and maximum is twenty. Now, in uh, partnership form of business, you'll find that the minimum number is two, and maximum is fifty. Now, liability, shareholders has a limited liability in company form of business, whereas um, liability is unlimited in partnership. Now, transferring of shares, in company, you will find they can transfer their share any time, whereas in case of partnership, they cannot transfer their share without the consent of other partners. Now, <coughs> Uh, in case of a company, a number is not an agent of a a member is not an agent of a company or of other members. Now here, in partnership, every partner is an agent of the firm and from other partner. Now, registration is compulsory in case of a company, whereas it is not compulsory in case of partnership form of business. Finally, the audit audit account is compulsory and cannot be changed its object. Okay? In company you find audit account is compulsory and they cannot change their object of the business. Whereas audit uh, <coughs> account and audit are not compulsory and they can change their object at any time. Now that's not dissolved by the death insolvency lunacy of the member. Here uh, uh, partnership form of business you know that if you come to the end, when a partner will die or if a partner will become lunacy in that or bankrupt, in that case business will come to an end. And company is governed by company at 2030, whereas partner
partnership is governed by partnership act 1952 i'm sorry 1932 now that is the difference between joint stock company and partnership that's all for today children you have to do some projects which is given in assignment at the back do any two project for in time being all together you have to do four but just now you do any two project okay thank you